time to finish up this tree. We just need to paint the highlights on the trunk, the textures, and a couple of other little details. I'm going to start off with some burnt umber and white gesso. I'm going to make a, a light tan color. The color's not all that important. I just want a value that's not completely white. I'm just using a script liner brush here to put this in. I'm just going to do the left side of the tree trunk. Remember, our light is coming from the upper left, so this is where the highlights are going to be. Um, and I'm not going to go too close to the limbs. I want to leave some place at the top where there would be a shadow. Now, once I get that, I'm going to wet my finger. You see, I got a lot of water just on my finger, and I'm going to tap around on that paint, kind of push it around, and use the texture of the canvas to kind of give me a, a texture for my tree trunk. This is a very simple way to make it look like you spent a lot of time painting details on tree trunks and really a lot of different textures. I, I paint with my fingers as much as I do with the brushes sometimes. And I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to come right back and do another layer of it. This time a little bit wider. I'm going to put a little less on and put it more towards the left and really highlight that left side of the tree. And if you'll notice, I'm putting a little bit in the center there where it looks like the root maybe comes up the trunk of the tree and gives it a little bit of a shape where the light would be catching it. Now, the highlight at this point is too bright. I'm making it that way on purpose, and you'll see why here in just a minute. Now, I've got a new palette here. I ran out of room on my other one, but I also want to make sure that I don't get any white in this color that I'm making now. I'm going to start with a flat synthetic brush. This is a soft bristle brush. We're going to start with some burnt umber and a lot of water. I'm just going to water this down. And then I want to bring in a little bit of ultramarine blue to darken it a little bit. Acrylic paint, when you thin it like this with water, it's translucent. You can see through it. Um, so what I want to do here is make a wash that I'm then going to put over my trunk, the light areas and the dark areas. It's going to serve to marry those together and at the same time it gives me color, the color that I want for my trunk. Now I'm just going to wash that color over the entire tree trunk. I'm just going to put a thin layer, you can't even really see it on this first pass. I'm going to put a thin layer over the highlights and the shadow, just painting the entire tree trunk. Then I'm going to use my hair dryer here to dry it. Uh, this thin watery layer won't take but a second to dry, but I want it to be completely dry and then I'm going to do another layer on top of that. Once this layer is done, I'm going to dry it again and then come back with a third layer. And now you can start to see the colors develop. The highlights are not quite as bright and offensive as they were, uh, but the darks get a little darker and they pick up a little more of that brown color that I want them to be. I'm going to grab my stiff bristle fan brush and just like we did the shadow side of the grass under the tree, put some highlights over here on the left side brighten up that grass in the sunshine over there um, and kind of bring it around in front of the tree it's going to give me a little depth it also gives me a chance to kind of bury my tree in the grass a little bit my trunk kind of tie it to the ground a little better and just like before I'm going to go back and wash that brush out come back with just some water and scrub out the edges and that really works to blend it with the grass below it the only thing left to do now is add some detail to the grasses. I'm going to add some light colored grass in the dark areas and some dark colored grass in the light areas. Just a couple of little finishing details. I hope you'll try these techniques next time you need to paint trees. Uh, the color doesn't really matter. You can use yellows, oranges, depending on whatever kind of tree you want to paint. As long as you start with a dark value and then work it a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. Um, as long as you have good dark shadows and good bright highlights, uh, it'll work out. I really appreciate you watching this and following along with this tutorial. I plan to make several others uh, in the near future, so like and subscribe to the page and you'll get updates when those videos are available. Then visit bencollinsart.com to see my original paintings as well as prints that are available and links to other videos. Thanks for watching.